Stevenson with the 34-20 win over Alvernia today to improve the two and two. Glenn Clark with head coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, your your run game. You've had to use a lot of backs this season. Now, um, the fact that you're able to keep it churning and keep it going, no matter who's in there, what does it say about this group? Well, you know that group in particular is really, really talented. Um, really, really young at this point. You know, with the two guys that played you know, today, LJ and, uh, and Ed Evans, a bit of a freshman. Um, you know, Kurt Green had a good day, so you know, got some guys. So we're excited to watch. You uh, got raced out to a 27 nothing lead. Things got a little interesting from there, right? You mentioned the youth of this team. Is that part of that or something that you're more concerned about that they just can't happen moving forward? Well, I, I think it's youth. You, you, yeah. know, um, you know, college football, 20 points isn't really that many points. So, um, you know, guys learn. We talked about that you know, post game. You've got to be able to put people away. And, you know, it comes with maturity, it comes with. Experience that, that we lack in, in some, some critical positions, and, uh, but lesson learned. You know, we were able to come out. I don't think we had our best football most of the afternoon. But, you know, it was an assignment here, and, you know, blown coverage there, kind of thing, and um, indicative of inexperience in youth. Um, but again, when you, know, when you don't have your best football, you're able to win. Certainly a positive, and you know, we've got some things to learn and move forward with. No doubt about that. I-, I wanted to talk about that too because I, I heard you talking to the Wags this week about doing the work, right? Like that was, you know, everything that happened last week and the emotions of that. For this team to be able to get through that, push that aside, and then be back up for a sure. football game like that, how important was that for you to see that maturity from this week? Well, it's a big deal. Um, you see it all the time in college football, you know, more so on TV than, than you do in the football. But it happens at all levels where. You go out, you get that big emotional win, and then you go out the following Saturday and lay an egg. And the reality of it is, as it, it, it nice as it was to, to beat Del Val, um, today means exactly the same. And, and in two weeks, it means exactly the same as, as you know, they're all conference games. They're all equal. So, uh, you know, getting over that emotional hurdle, we talked about the emotional hurdle, avoiding that. And again, you know, even, even pre game you know, as, as a coach, you kind of walk around and get flat and not flat. And, you know, I think there was a little bit of a emotional hangover. Um, you know, and then, you know, you jump out to a quick lead. And it's like, oh, this is going to be easy. Right. Well, you know, and, and I tell them all the time, winning is hard. Uh, it's hard to win college football games. And, and, you know, but again, you know, I football games. Feels good to win them. Uh, certainly, it makes it more pleasant when you go on a bye, sitting a couple of wins. Coach, congratulations. We'll Thank see you. you back here in a few weeks. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. He's Ed Hoddle. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.com.